So I talk a lot about quiet time. So like that's how I start my day every day as I start with quiet time. And I talk about how it's been selfish. It's selfish for me to spend my time with God in the morning. I have to because I don't know if, how I'd go on if I didn't do it. Imagine if you were driving somewhere that you didn't know where you were going. How often would you look at your GPS on your phone? You look at it a lot because you want to make sure you're not lost, right? That's what my quiet time is like. My quiet time is like my GPS where it's like a lot of times I'm driving. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just out here like, am I going the right way, God? Like, are you, you know, help me out. Like, I feel like I might have passed my turn. Like, did I miss something? Like, I'm checking. That's my quiet time. I'm just constantly, every day I'm getting with God. I'm talking to him. I'm like trying to make sure that I'm going in the right direction. I haven't missed anything. Pour out my, my concerns, my frustrations, my wishes, my requests, all that to God. But honestly, that's really what it's like. It's like me checking GPS. It's like, I want to make sure that I'm still going in the right direction. I'm not seeing the turn. I'm not seeing the results that I I expect it to have after all this time. So am I still going the right direction? That's kind of what my quiet time's like. I think for people that aren't walking by the spirit, it's easy to just dismiss quiet time because people think they don't need to pray. Well, you're probably not walking by the spirit. And honestly, if you're not walking by the spirit, you're probably not gonna reach your full potential. Actually, not probably. You are not going to reach your full potential. Because look, only God knows what he put inside of you. You're not gonna be able to bring out your full potential on your own because you're not the creator of yourself. So you might be out there, you might have some gifts and some talents and you might be out there making money doing something, but at the end of the day, you're still operating on only a couple cylinders. So you might have 12 cylinders, you're using two or three of them and you're making some money and you got a business going or whatever, but if God's not the one that's steering that ship, you're gonna only be running on partial cylinders. When you give it all to him, he's gonna maximize your talents and your gifts because he knows exactly what's in you and he's gonna make sure you, you meet the right people and open the right doors and close the wrong ones and all that. You're gonna have to spend time with him because you're gonna have to constantly check in to make sure that you're in the right place because he's gonna ask you to do some things that just don't make sense. He's gonna tell you to sit in a place where maybe you're like, oh, why would I sit here? I, I've compared it before to like Frogger where you're like, okay, you, you think that you just wanna go across the street and you hop out there and bam, you get hit by a truck. Like sometimes God has you go sideways and sometimes he has you go backward and sometimes he has you just sit in a place for a long time and, and you gotta stay tuned in with the spirit to know when all those things are supposed to happen.